Mike and Roy. Hello, Burbankers, and welcome back to the Mike and Roy Show. Roy and I have made it very clear how we feel about Measure P. We are voting no on Measure P, and we hope you will vote no on Measure P as well. We've been asked by our city council for solutions, and we offer solutions frequently. We're going to offer some more solutions. Um, we have over 400 city employees making more than $150,000 a year. Here's a solution. What if we ask those employees to take a 10% salary adjustment? If we did that, the city would save right around $10 million a year. That's one way that we don't have to put the burden on the residents of Burbank for the mismanagement of our budget. That's more than one way. That's 10 million ways right yeah. there. Speaking of millions, Mike, uh, let's talk about development impact fees. We have a lot of development coming online in Burbank. Lots more waiting in the wings. Uh, multi-family units. If you were to build something like, let's say, Talaria, down uh, in the media district there, Hollywood Way and Alameda around there, uh, it's getting ready to open all the units, 240 apartments or so over the Whole Foods. Um, if that building was to go in Pasadena, that developer would be charged $19,000 per unit. In Glendale, $18,000. Uh, welcome to Burbank. Here's your 850% discount to the developer, $2,000 uh, per unit. We walked away, the city left $3.8 million on the table with that deal. Uh, we're millions short, we're told by City Hall. There's $3.8 million that yeah. we, we should have, along with the land that was under uh, undersold by about $3 million. Mm -hmm. Valued at $4 million, sold the developer for $1 million. Do the math. Yeah, we're begging developers to come into our community and uh, with these fees. We need to raise the development impact fee. They are impacting our community. They should be taking some of the burden uh, off the residents. And we're not anti-development. No. Right? Smart development is good. Yep. Um, but once again, the burden for the mismanagement of our budget is being put on the residents. We don't need to increase the sales tax. Now, if a resident wants to appeal a project, we used to pay $135 to appeal a project. The city has recently raised those fees to over $1,200, which is an increase of About around 850%. 850%. You boom! Yeah. You can't write this stuff, yeah. Mike. You can't make it up. Here's another way our friends at City Hall, from your friends at Mike and Roy Show, we have a good suggestion here. Don't spend our tax dollars to uh, influence an election uh, by hiring PR firms and consultants to uh, help your measures pass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, th this is crazy. A Hundreds lot of people of in our community don't know the city is doing that, but they're spreading fear in our community, scaring community members into thinking we're going to lose essential services if we don't vote, if we don't pass this. Yeah. That's not true. Don't put the burden on the residents for irresponsible spending in our city. We'll see you next time on, on the, the Mike, Mike and Roy, Roy Show. Mike and Roy.